Hey, it's Jason here from Bohemia Bees, and we're going to be looking at the mini nukes that we have purchased for our spring this year, spring of 2020 here on the Eastern Shore of Maryland. These mini nukes are designed uh, to help for getting queens mated. Uh, many people who are not in beekeeping may wonder what we mean by when we say nuke, but a nuke is essentially a nucleus colony just a short term that most beekeepers use to refer to a small colony of bees, uh, typically maybe five frames or less, or even in this case, much smaller. Uh, in this case, we're going to be testing out this year uh, these mini nuke colonies. These are styrofoam boxes that we have purchased online. They're very lightweight. They're very uh, easy to move and put several of them out. Uh, the purpose of using a small colony like this would be to expedite the mating of a uh, queen uh, so that you can use it in, in a larger colony, in a, in a five frame uh, typical size colony or, or, or bigger or grow into it. Uh, or it's also used for purposes of selling queens, which we do when we do uh, queen rearing as well. We'll have another video on, on queen rearing and the specifics surrounding that. But I wanted to review this mini nuke because uh, it's it's just kind of unfamiliar to some, but maybe people are curious as to what its point and purpose is. So what we've done is we've naturally painted the box a color. We've got several that we are uh, painted of different colors. We have a few over here, as you can see. And those boxes uh, and a different color will help that queen, who's a, a virgin queen that we've placed in here, either with a queen cell or as a virgin queen, uh, to, to emerge out, to go out in the find a drone congregation area or commonly referred to as a DCA. And drones are the male bees. And they will look for those bees to help try to uh, mate several times and then come back and begin to lay in a smaller colony that they've come from uh, or a colony that they've come from. It could be a large colony or small. Uh, in this case, it helps to expedite that process in that it's a very small colony to inspect as well as uh, the volume of bees doesn't need to be too um, too much such so that you have to wait in order to, uh, to see and maintain the brood uh, and keep it at the proper temperature and feed it and take care of it. These boxes are nice because they have a couple different options. As you saw, uh, they're styrofoam, so they keep the necessary heat in for a queen to, um, to actually uh, be in, in a, a cell if you put a queen cell in in the top, um, and it helps to keep it at that constant temperature. It requires a lot less bees for you to have to worry about keeping it at a constant temperature. It keeps that temperature constant. Uh, it does keep uh, have a, an adjustable front that you can, if you have a mated queen and you want to close that to a different entrance, you can do that. It also has a way that you can close off the front entrance too completely and allow for ventilation and no bees to come out. So for transport and various other things. Uh, inside the nucleus colony, you have three frames that you see here these are the mini frames and we will put a piece of wax in the very top in those top ridges a uh, piece of uh, pressed uh, foundation wax foundation to give them a start uh, and then allow them to build it out but this back area is a small area that can be removed and keep a uh, you can expand out additional frames if you have them if you need to uh, up to up to um, five frames uh, but tr traditionally you would want the three frames drawn out with bees you would put the container in the back, fill it with your, uh, your sur sugar syrup feed for the bees. There's a small queen excluder, so your queen can't go into the feed and drown, uh, but it allows you to do that. Uh, many people have struggled with these only mainly because of how do you get bees, a small amount of bees, usually about a cup or two of bees inside of these nucleus colonies. And we're going to show that later in the season how we're going to do it. But one thing that I built that helps kind of expedite the process that I wanted to share with the group um, is that on the bottom of these, they have an opening. And typically when you fill these, you pull this opening off and you dump your cup of bees in, you close it, you let them settle in, then you open the top, fill the syrup, and then you go about their, their way drawing the comb and so on and so forth. However, I find this to be a little difficult only because um, you have this flipping going on Getting a couple of bees in there, you have to miss their wings, and that may potentially damage the small amount of quantity of bees that you put in there. So what we're going to do here at the Bohemia Apiary 
is we've just taken a, a medium shallow. That's what this box is. This is a medium shallow. And all we've done is put in these inserts. You can see one here on this side and one here on that side. And it's perfect size to allow us to load up our frames into this medium shallow that you see here, okay? And I'll still put the bits of wax foundation in each one of them. But uh, there's enough in here that we can fill out uh, approximately, I think there's 13 and 13, so there's 26 and six more. Um, so we are at, you know, 32 uh, of these frames, which will really help us to draw out uh, the comb fast. We'll put this on a really strong 10 frame colony in the in the actual uh, spring when it starts to build on one of our colonies. The bees will come up into this and draw out, hopefully, the comb that's desired. I was debating on whether I wanted to put some type of a tank here for them to go in and feed because if they're closer to the feed, they'll tend to draw the comb faster. Uh, the point I'm, I'm making here is that if we can get the bees access to these frames in large quantities, then I can come back, open up a colony. When I see that there are drawn frames, let's say these three are drawn out and they're full of bees, I can literally pull the frame out, set it inside my nucleus colony with the nurse bees, which is the stage in which you want them to go in. You can load them up in the and right inside the mini nuke, pour your feed if you choose to do that, close it up, Put your queen cell if you need to, and she's on her way. That's just a way that we found, or we're going to try this spring to help load these mini nucleus colonies. As you can see, we've got many to work through, about 38 or so. So uh, we figured that if we can do this with this medium and it tests and works well, we'll be able to load these nucleus colonies up pretty fast. So that's just our concept. I think I've seen something similar to this online, but I just made this with a standard uh, shallow and a couple pieces of wood. Uh, from our uh, wood shop and it was very easy to make. Um, I could also put another set of frames in the middle if I wanted to or I could put a, a small uh, uh, tank or some kind of a container to put feed in it as well like an inner feeder. But again this is just another way we try to innovate here at the Bohemia Apiary so that we could grow and continue to learn about the bees. The nucleus colonies are one thing we're trying this year, the smini nukes, as well as we're going to try out uh, loading them with uh, the bees out of a, a stronger colony, uh, and hopefully that will work uh, as we go. So if you have any comments, if you've used these before, if you use a box like this in beekeeping to help try to draw those mini frames out, please comment below. Send us a link to where that was at just to let us know how it performed. If you have comments on how it performed for you, if you're a beekeeper, these mini nukes, even if you didn't use the medium um, type of shallow to load the frames up and you did the, the dump method if that worked for you as well. Uh, so definitely appreciate anybody's feedback, thoughts, questions. We're happy to answer them as we continue to learn here at the Bohemia Apiary, where as we say, beekeeping is more than a hobby. It's definitely an obsession. Thanks for watching.